I actually, I was asked by the CIA at one point uh, to write a scenario, because I'm also a screenwriter, about what would we do if we caught bin Laden. And I said, well, you know, I'm a, also a journalist, and I can't go writing screenplays for the CIA, but I'll write a, an op-ed for the New York Times that'll tell you what I think we should do. If we catch bin Laden, remember, he's the most famous man in the world. He's going to be one of the most famous men in history. So if you catch him, don't kill him, and don't send him to Guantanamo. Uh, send him, first of all, to Kenya, where on August 6, 1998, he set off a bomb in front of an American embassy, killing 119 people. 150 people were blinded by the flying glass. Let him sit in a courtroom in Nairobi and tell 150 blind Africans that he was just striking at a symbol of American power. And then if he's when you finish that, you can take him to Tanzania, where on the same day he set off another bomb, killing 19 people. They were all Muslims. And al-Qaeda excuses that because it was Friday, and good Muslims would be in the mosque. Well, what a perfect venue to ask what a good Muslim is. Then you could bring him to America and ask, have him answer for the the 17 soldiers who died on the USS Cole in October 2000 and the 3,000 Americans who died on 9-11. After that, there's so many places you could take him. You could take him to Casablanca, you could take him to Bali, you could take him you know, to London, Madrid, but just take him one last place, take him home. Try him under Sharia law in Saudi Arabia, where hundreds of Saudis and expat workers have died at the hands of Al-Qaeda. And if he's convicted, he'll be taken to a square in downtown Riyadh called Chop Chop Square. And the executioner is a big man with a long sword. It's Saudi tradition for the executioner to walk out to the crowd who are composed of the victims of the condemned man, and he begs them to forgive this man. And if they can't do that, then the executioner does his job, and Osama bin Laden will be taken and buried in an unmarked Wahhabi graveyard. And I think in that way, you could begin to roll back some of his awful legacy. Lawrence Wright, thank you very much. We'll leave it there. Your book, The Looming Tower. Thanks very much once again for coming okay, in. And, and this HBO documentary yep. is a must. Say. Find it on HBO, My Trip to Al-Qaeda. Lawrence Wright, thank you. Thank we'll be right back. You.